So as you've probably read the title, this is Day in the Life of a Uni Student in Malaysia, Part 3. Yes, this is Part 3. I've made two other ones before this, Part 1 and Part 2. I think Part 1 was already like a year ago. If you haven't watched Part 1 and Part 2 yet, I will drop the links down in the description below. Now I did bring my camera with me, but I decided to shoot this entire vlog with my phone, just to prove to you that I'm not using my camera. The reason for that is simple. I don't want to give the impression that you need to have a good camera or good equipment to shoot good videos. If you enjoy the content that I'm producing, it would mean a lot to the channel if you hit that like button and subscribe. It's absolutely free, it won't charge you a single cent. With just a few clicks, you get to support me and also you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Alright, let's start the day. It's been a very long time since I vlogged outside by the way. I'm a little bit... Oh, is that a piece of shit? I have one class today. It is 11am right now. My class starts at 2pm in the afternoon. So I still have a little bit more time. Oh, by the way, I just want to say that the campus is not fully open to everyone just yet. At the time that I am recording this vlog, it is only open to selected students. I cannot speak for all students because it really depends on what you're studying. From my understanding, the crews are very noisy today. From my understanding, it is only open to classes where the students need to use specific equipment or facilities. Of course, you need to scan the MySujatara QR code. But if you are a student who wants to return to campus, there's also another procedure called the TCEP. That's your Taylor's Campus Entry Pass. I hope I said that correctly. Basically, it's a, it's another QR code that you have to show to the guard. You need to let the guard scan that in order to prove that you are a student who is allowed to be on campus. So since I'm on campus and early for classes today, I figured that why not I give you guys a tour on some of my favorite facilities over here. Let's go. Almost forgot my mask. <laughs> Remember to wear your mask on campus. We are here at the first location. I really hope that it's not locked. Oh, it's not! This is the Experimental TV Studio or Experimental Theatre. It's one of my favourite places on campus for obvious reasons. But I'm not gonna lie, I think, I think this place is being underutilised. This is my fifth semester. Next semester is going to be my internship. Literally, the first ever class that we had over here was yesterday, at the, at the day that I'm recording this. Yesterday. And we didn't even use the multi-cam setup and the green screen. Let me show you around. Over here we have a green screen. So that was the experimental theatre. Hope you enjoyed that little tour. Usually when I'm this early for classes, I will be at a random classroom with my friends goofing around or I'll be at the library getting some work done. Today, library. The library has got to be another favourite place of mine on campus. Apart from the experimental theatre, I'm like right outside of the entrance and I can already feel the cool air coming from the inside. right now so I, I can't speak that loud. This area behind me used to be my, my go-to place in the library but unfortunately it's closed. Why? Just did a little bit of work at the library and now I am about to go get some lunch. Actually I'm not really that hungry so I'm thinking of getting just a quick bite. Something light maybe. First thing that comes to my mind 
It's family mart. Salmon Tobiko Onigiri. Grilled Salmon Onigiri. Spicy Chicken Oni Salad. Okay, I know that I said I wanted to get something light for lunch. Honestly, I was planning to get something like a sandwich, but then I saw this omirai's bento. Not gonna lie, this this omirai's bento box kind of kind of caught my attention. I think it's the the egg on top that really attracted me, and I can't wait to try it. Ooh, the sauce is good. Yeah, no no regrets paying nine ringgit for this. Family Mart is honestly one of my go-to places in Taylor's for food. I think my body probably runs on 80% Family Mart food right now. <sighs> if you can't tell already, I am I'm a little bit tired right now. After my lunch, I actually went to the campus square to film the intro for the vlog. The scene in front of the tiny house that you saw at the beginning of the video. And it was extremely hot. That, that explains the sweat. So I, I really need some cool air right now. Let's go to the editing room. I really hope that the editing room is not locked. Oh, it's not. Let's get some natural lighting in here. If you compare the enthusiasm I have now versus the energy I had this morning when I started vlogging, you can tell that I'm drained from running all around campus. I'm just happy to have a little bit of air conditioning right now before class. It's helping a little bit. But yeah, this is the editing lab. If you're a mass comm student or you're studying anything, that touches on video editing, you will be familiar with this place. Side note, if you're a student and you're allowed back on campus, I, I would advise you to use anything and everything that you possibly can because we've been paying the same amount of resource fees even though classes have been online for over a year now. So yeah, gain justice for your resource fees. I personally don't come here that often for two reasons. Number one, COVID. Number two, I'm not a Mac user. I have a laptop, it runs on Windows, so it's where I get all of my work done. But if I don't have my laptop with me and I need to get a quick edit done, this is where I'll be. I don't think that I will be having my class here today. So let's go back to the library. Right now, I am about to go meet up with a friend of mine. His name is Einstein because I will be joining him in his study live stream. Hey! <laughs> hey! This is Einstein. Do people call you Einstein or Pong? Ah? They do both. That's why both it's ah. Einstein Pong. So there's a backstory to that name. When I first read Relativity in 2009, I was like 10. So. I was impressed, so I named myself Einstein to be a, like a tribute to Einstein. This is a study live stream, right? Yeah, it is. There's a technique that you share with me. Motoro <laughs> technique. Let me look at which can look at both. Look at me. Maybe you can look at both. If you guys don't know, right? Yeah, there's a there's a camera, there's a camera, over, camera there. over there. Pomodoro, it actually means tomato in Italian. This guy who came up with this thing, he had a tomato timer at his kitchen, so it's like, ah, let me just do some work in 25 minutes, and then he said 25 minutes, just put it there. It's called Pomodoro technique because you get work done while a sufficient rest at the same time so it actually increase your productivity while not turning you up so you can actually do it in the long term all right i'm gonna go get my stuff and yeah get, exactly. let's let's and, and then we start. einstein over here is and uh, he's studying engineering yeah i do and you play a lot around with 3D printing, right? Yeah. You gotta tell the audience like what, what have you been up to with your 3D printing so, life? So currently I'm actually building a Mark 42 suit. Hopefully by Halloween I actually have a full suit. We just wrapped up Einstein's live stream over here. I actually really like your setup lah. Not gonna lie. Camera pointing to a camera. Camera section. I actually do a student life focus uh Stops. So I will showcase my university life. I will show some tips of how to improve your grades as well, and also obviously my Ironman project as well. Okay, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump. Hmm. Okay. As you can probably already tell, it's been a very long day, and it's about to rain. Wait, I think it's already raining. Yep. Yep, it's drizzling. I know I've said this countless times already, but if you enjoy the vlogs that I've been producing on this channel, 
it really helps if you hit that like button, subscribe and share this video. Please share this video. It's really fun documenting these moments on campus for you guys on video, big or small. I, I genuinely enjoy the process and I really hope that you enjoy the journey so far. To everyone out there who is experiencing uni life or high school life in this pandemic, good luck out there. Don't give up, alright? You got this. This has been Day in the Life of a Uni Student Part 3. Once again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see all of you in my next video. Take care.